G'day everyone, Matt Elder of Family Bricks here, and in this video, we're gonna look at this mock Tesla Cybertruck by Gerald Carcass, which is actually completely rebricked from the Ford Mustang 10 265 set into this. So the only parts used in creating this Tesla Cybertruck were the ones in that set. We will give it a quick review in terms of displayability, build experience, and value for money. We'll also do a quick time-lapse speed build with commentary, and the original instructions were available on rebrickable.com. This video is brought to you by McCatsum Holiday Homes in Margate and Broadstairs. Great for a week's holiday or a weekend escape, being just over an hour east of London, UK. Treat yourself to amazing sunsets, a Lego wall or great food. Visit www.macatsim.com and mention this YouTube video and we'll look after you. So here is the Tesla Cybertruck and this is one of the reasons I actually got this Mustang set is I was looking to build a Cybertruck and just happened to have one along with a whole bunch of other great models you can build. I've already done some of these such as the Porsche so you can click around the video and see how that goes or you can look at the original review on the Mustang itself to see what that's like. So even with the limitations of having to use the Mustang set and nothing other pieces, still managed to capture that profile sort of sloping up and down quite well and then also to around the wheels. And it's interesting given that it is such a geometric sort of car and they managed to do this whereas the Mustang has a lot of nice curves and things as well. Also good with this rebrick model is that it doesn't have the white and blue stripe going all the way down and through it. It's mainly just the blue with the white highlights. Once you get inside to the actual seats and those sorts of things, then you can start seeing a bit more of the stripes and the patterning. So it's been good that the design has been able to hide all that stuff in there. So just quickly running over some of the functions here. The back drops down to open there. The doors do open, but you need to open the front doors first. Otherwise it gets locked in like that did there. And the wheels actually turn and the steering wheel will drive it. So if we turn the wheels, you can see that's turning in there as well. The main tray part on the back also lifts up and does have this nice Technic joint so it can sort of lift a little bit further up than normal and then reveal, in this case, it's got a little drone helicopter that can fly around. When they did the original promo launch for it, they did have like a 4x4, which I'm sure you could easily make, but in terms of this is the pieces that were just in the set, so utilizing what is already there, pretty cool little extra build. Also managed to catch the rear bar lights there as what is on the real truck. The front is also pretty good in being able to capture that front flat geometric sort of design. The instructions are about 450 odd steps and most of it's pretty well laid out and you can follow along pretty nicely. You will need however all the extra pieces in the set that comes with it to really finish it out because it does use I think about 1250 pieces. So there are a few left over but not many. As with any of these designs which are built solely from previous sets, there can be a few little weak points in it. In this case, the doors, they really only have one single hinge holding them together in each one, so you do have to be a little bit careful with that. Also to the back here, if you grab it in the wrong place, it does feel a little bit flimsy and start to give way on you. Once you build up some of these side details here, if you do bump them the wrong way, you've generally got to take the wheel off and then put it all back together, which can be a little annoying. The base has a pretty strong Technic frame, and I find with a lot of these ones, when you grab them from the wheels, you can move them around pretty easily. The build on this was also quite interesting because you start off with the bottom Technic frame, and then it's like you're doing another frame on top of it, so it is quite rigid and structured. I find the easiest way to move them around is to slide your fingers underneath the front and then just sort of move it like that, or however you need to get it around. That seems to be the strongest point. In terms of displayability, this model is great and probably what you'd actually build it for. I mean, particularly with that side sort of profile there, you're getting that real Cybertruck sort of feel. In terms of playability, this model isn't really designed to be played with, so it's going to be more something you just have sitting on your shelf. In terms of value for money, the instructions are on rebrickable for about nine US dollars or 650 pounds or about seven euros. So quite reasonable for what it is. And it's a good solid five hours to get through the build. I generally don't give an overall rating or score because I don't feel it's fair to compare fan designers who are doing it as a bit of a hobby and some fun to a fully resourced Lego model, which has got all the proper software and review pro process and everything like that around it. It's a great little build, so if you're into your Cybertruck and you have this Mustang model, it's certainly something you might want to check out and go through and build. So here we start off breaking down the actual Mustang itself and see all the pieces that will come off there. And then we start off with the lower base level Technic frame, adding in the wheels, which was interesting doing in all the wheel shaft adding in all the bushes there to really push it out to the right level then built up the front steering mechanism with a large cog and now coming through and adding in that second layer which will become the floor so between those two layers put together um, it gives a really strong base to it 
now just uh, going through doing some of the front curve or front edges and building up a bit more of the platform this here will be the front which sits on the steering the steering mechanism so turning that front wheel there and the steering wheel going in there building up just some more pieces and it's nice the way that that dash there is all the white and that blue stripe there again just getting those stripes and everything outside of the car inside the car building up the back rest behind the chairs and the chairs are actually quite interesting builds as well they're quite well done and again incorporating some of those stripes and lines into it on the front there you can see where I've used the license plate pieces so again this is the sort of thing where if you do have a lot of the stickers already applied it's going to get uh, interesting in the end I would end up moving those to the actual seats as you can see there and I've swapped them out for pieces in my own collection because at that stage I didn't quite realize that there was going to be another piece which sits on front of it so if you do have the stickers and the license plate you can hide it in the, under there and then it was good when you're building up those rear angles it manages to hide a lot of those stripe printed pieces again in inside the actual rear tray and here you're going through building up one of the doors and you can see there the license plates then being down at the actual sort of footrest so not the end of the world but it's just not as clean as it could be I'm putting on some of the doors because there are only so many hinge joints in the whole set as we said earlier there's a bit of a weakness there and then going through building up some of the front it was good the way that they did the front windscreen you double it up but you use a lot of the hinge pieces to get the angles and then here building up the roof and then the tray which opens as you can see they originally put the license plates on the the top there but it would end up swapping them out with uh, pieces I had in my own collection although I did didn't have exactly enough so one of them would end up being put on the side door and the quick little build for the drone if you've enjoyed and or gotten something out of this video then hit that thumbs up button and or consider subscribing is this a set you own and do you think you'd be interested in building this sound off in the comments below or just leave the word cybertruck and we'll know you watch the whole video what alternative models should i review next or if you're a fan designer and would like me to check out one of your builds drop me a line at matt at mattelder.com here is a review of the mustang porsche mock this is a review of the base mustang set that this was used to create this cybertruck in this video Otherwise, here are some other alternate builds of the Mustang. Otherwise, this video may be of interest. Thanks for watching, and that's it from us here at Family Bricks. Until next time, when we talk about all things Lego and lifestyle.